Hey everyone, this is Peter with GoodyReader.com. Today we have something that uh, we've kind of done before but never had before. This is the white Kindle Paperwhite. This is not available in Canada. This uh, is only available in America and select markets. I actually had to go down to Seattle personally to the University District area um, just off of uh, exit 172 on I-5 and grab this from the Seattle store. So you can tell it is white. We'll do a really close up look because the majority of this review will be the actual device itself so if you guys are interested in what this guy actually looks like which I mean it's, it's a paper white all the same although the box does say now including 300 ppi borrowed from later generations of Kindle devices the plastic is not just a different color it is different than the other paper white and we'll get to that in a comparison so there's the bottom of the device. You have status indicator, power button, micro USB port for charging the device and transferring data, certification stamps and whatnot, embossed Amazon logo, and of course Amazon features all clean sides of their devices now because they no longer have physical page turn buttons. So looking at this, it, it is a Kindle all the same. I mean, nothing has changed in that respect. Uh, you have your, this is the latest OS and the, um, the UI, which is the user interface and the home screen and everything. Uh, this, does, this one does have ads, you see, that has, um, I didn't remove the ads on this one because it's just review and I don't really need to remove the ads. So I logged into my Amazon account so we can look at some samples and you see it cues a download of stuff I already have and stuff. Opening up a book, this is going to pretty much play like anything else. You can tap the top, tap the top bar, sorry, top the tap bar, tap the top bar to bring up different settings so we can choose our fonts, choose our font styles, choose our margins, really tight, like a little column or super wide, and choose the line spacing. You can also choose the orientation. Reading progress is also available. You can long press, that offers different things, even things that no other e-reader has. I think a couple of those like Tolinos and stuff have these, but um, you have Translate. So you can translate English to traditional and simplified Chinese if you wanted, which is quite a feat. Might not always be correct, but you can see Windows is Windows. They might think it's the operating system, which is why they didn't translate it. But I'm pretty sure with all these characters, you can, you can get it. I can read about 5% uh, of those, but they aren't correct because they aren't the same in Japanese. But you can make uh, notes, highlights. We'll do the keyboard, Just spell my name really quick. Pretty responsive. You can make bookmarks in the corner. And do all the regular Kindle stuff. Uh, this is a paperwhite all the same, so we're not going to do a full review of this. If you want to see the full review, you can go to youtube.com slash goodyreader to check out the Kindle paperwhite, the black one. Finally, before we wrap up, we want to look at the glow light. The glow light is about as good as you can get. Really solid through all the ranges. Obviously, it starts to get really dark when it gets dark because you're basically you're turning it off. So, yeah, it's quite a good glow light. And you even have an overdrive button, which is max. And edge to edge distribution is perfect so like I said if you guys want to check out the full review check it out on YouTube because this is just basically for the fact that it is a white color and they haven't done that since uh, Kindle keyboard I believe so correct me if I'm wrong leave a comment down below thanks